Yes, welcome to another episode of Levitt in Your Living Room, brought to you by our wonderful episode sponsors, uh, Lloyd Companies and Core Trust, and of course, our 2021 presenting sponsor, Sanford Health. Uh, we appreciate you all for supporting this. I'm super excited for this one. First of all, it's because we get to spend another Saturday with you, which is one of my favorite things to do, uh, building community through music. So we are happy that uh, you are joining us. Uh, we appreciate that. But listen, we got a great show tonight. And the thing about it is, um, over the two span of two seasons, we have had some really amazing and accomplished artists. But what I would tell you is, is that Grammy Award winners do not grow on trees. These folks are not hard to find and they are not always easy to get. Um, and we have a two time Grammy Award winning artist with us tonight. A person that is a true OG of the soul giving sounds of Zydeco. And uh, so we happy to have him today. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, please give some love for Terrence Simeon. How are yeah, you, sir? I'm good, Bonnie. How you doing tonight? I'm excellent, man. We are so uh, excited to have you, so proud to have you. Like I said, you know, we've had some great artists on here, but, you know, to, but number one, to be one of the um, uh, preeminent voices of an entire genre of music, one of the reasons why this music is still uh, moving today, and to be someone who has uh, uh, been good enough to be able to acquire a couple of those elusive Grammys, we are, are honored to have you with us today. Well, I'm humbly honored to be with you guys today. Thank you so much for having me. It's, um, it's always a pleasure to be able to hang out with cool people. And Vani, it don't get more cooler than you, my brother. Well, listen, I'm not going to argue with you. You clearly know what cool <laughs> is, so I'm not going to dispute. I'm not going to dispute your assessment. But no, I appreciate it. And I tell you what, you know, um, what I'm really excited about for this is that um, in our prep up to this, you are a historian of what it is that you do. And there's a lot of people who do a thing really well, but they don't understand where it comes from. They don't understand what's behind it, what's in it, what's, um, what it's done in the past. And you seem to. Where does that desire to know your craft the way you do come from? Well, it comes from pride in my heritage and my history. You know, uh, uh, the Creole people have been in South Louisiana for over 300 years. We have our own way of life. And, um, you know, music is a big part of our life. And of course, food, if you look at us, we, you know, pretty much just about everybody's my size down here. <laughs> but music, is, music, we live for our music, man. You know, our music is our medicine. Our music is what keeps the generations going forward and having pride in our culture and our history. And just, you know, it's, it's, it's always been, a um, for me, a place to really, you know, um, a peaceful place to come into my adulthood i mean it's done so many things for me yeah. i can't even begin to tell you you know but um but it's it, it's 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 pride that keep us all gone you know all right this song was written by the late great amade Aldwin, who was the first creole to record creole music this song was written in 1925 and recorded in 1925 in new york city and it's called the eunice two-step one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, did I meet 
No, what I was going to ask you was, is, is, is typically these types of, of genres that are so historically relevant and are so connected to culture are usually passed on. So who can we thank for passing on this style of music to you? Vani, that's one of the most, that, that, that's the most perfect timing for this question, because <laughs> I've just been informed that the great Queen Ida Gilry is checking us out tonight from the Bay Area, San Francisco. Oh, hello. The queen of Zydeco, who was the first Grammy Award winner in 1982. She's still well, with welcome. us. We love you, queen. She's Listen. the reason I'm here. And so that many is amazing. Us. This is perfect timing for that question, Bonnie. Perfect timing. Listen. I'm not going to brag, but I don't know how many uh, shows like ours have this many Grammy winners on right now. I feel like <laughs> we have <laughs> I feel like we have the most Grammy winners tonight. So let's so so let's talk about that, because I, I, I asked you this before and I really loved your answer. Did the music get you encouraged to learn about your history or did your history get you encouraged to learn about the music? You know, it's a little vice versa. You know, I mean, I grew up here in South Louisiana and um, hearing all these old stories, you know, from from people, you know, we, I still had the, the privilege of hearing stories from 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 people, you know, who, who told stories before you had TV okay, mm. and in French and in English and, and 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 the way all these 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 musicians were revered, you know, I mean, it was just they were they were they were like like gods you know what i'm saying and uh so so the magic of that you know and 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 just visualizing what they were saying because they made it the way they told the story you could you could see what they were saying mm. you know being able to being able to being able to have that man really really made me want to you know want to want to pursue you know to to learn as much as i could about our history and our culture because just about every everything we know about Creole Louisiana Creole history was handed down orally, you know. Mm. And, uh, a lot of this stuff wasn't written down, so it's stories from different communities. Every community was almost like you know another country because some communities had different dialects of French, and 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 you know different different rules <laughs> you know like <laughs> like you know when you, you had to you had to get permission to go court a girl if you wasn't from that area otherwise you was going <laughs> you might not make it out of that life you know yeah it wasn't that bad you'd get beat up all right let me let me let me let me let me, let me go back it was it wasn't that bad but still you know 
you you have to get permission to go in some of these communities, man. And this is this is all you know, people of color. I'm not talking about you know the 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 segregation, white and black. I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. you know, and um, so yeah, you know, it's 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 it was you know, I, I've been very fortunate more than anything, you know, to be able to be around all these these people from that time period and these legends like Queen Ida. You know, I've, I've been able to play with Queen Ida, you know, when I was a kid and she was, you know, she she mentored me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, people like Clifton Chenier and uh, mm -hmm. John Delafosse. John Delafosse was a big influence to me, who's uh, his son, Gino Delafosse, is, 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 is playing and doing, you know, a, a phenomenal job, you know, representing true Zodico music. And just, you know, just the, the, to be fortunate enough to be around those people is, is, is why I'm still here today. That's amazing. And again, there's just so much life in it. Even when you talk about it, there's just life and energy in it. And there's some, uh, again, genres of music that are just more like that. They're just more cultural than they are just even even music, you know, where it's almost like you can't eat the food without listening to it. You can't, you know, uh, listen to it without eating the food. It just seems like all of those things kind of go together um, uh, culturally. And that's so amazing having that lineage and that connection to who you are as a human being. And you can tell that comes through with, with everything that you do. That's you amazing. You hit the nail on the head, Bonnie. You hit the well, nail on the head, man. You know, you are you are such no you are such a great educator. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but you could tell that you're not just a player, you're an educator. And I think that's really important in terms of music, especially when you talk about the people who have mentored you. But before we go in too much further, I want people to get an opportunity to see one of your Grammy uh performances. This one is Dance Every Day, and I want people to check this one out because we are dealing with a Grammy Award winning artist. So we're gonna check this one out here, Dance Every Day. Country, we got a little saying we say, Don't say to me, Zab, that means to dance your misery. If you feel bad, you get up, you dance, and you feel all right. Hey, la, la. I know. One, two, one, two, three, four.
When the world changes, you change with it. By embracing new rhythms, redefining connection, and taking less for granted, you push through the uncertainty. And at every point along the way, we stand with you. Because even when your world looks different, our commitment to your care stays the same. Sanford Health. Health lives here. Big shout out to our season sponsor, um, Sanford Health. We appreciate you so much. And then our episode sponsors, Core Trust and Lloyd Companies. Now they do a lot for us and they are amazing. We love them. Uh, but uh, any additional help that we can get in order to make sure that we're able to bring this music to you, this amazing program where we get a chance to see amazing artists like this, you can go ahead and text Levitt to 605-524-2170, or you can visit levittsufalls.org slash donate. Now, Terrence, okay, first of all, I got a, a comment and a question. Comments. I have never in my life wanted to play the accordion until just now. That's some slick accordion. <laughs> uh, that's number one. Actually, two comments. Two, you look pretty spry right now, but you were looking like a young buck right there. So I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then my question for you is, how long did the band have to stall for you to undo that knot of beads? It looked like you were putting away Christmas lights trying to get those beads loose. <laughs> But that was an awesome performance, man. So tell me a little bit about that, because obviously that's a big experience. Oh, man. This was like um, so so much. Uh, just watching that piece of footage just bring back so many memories. Number one, um, my cousin Ralph Fontenot, who was on the rub board, uh, passed away in 2014 um, while we were on the road, believe it mm. or not, after the gig uh, at Mm. That way, in his sleep peacefully of natural causes, yeah. and it just seeing him just make me and everybody else who's seen the band with Ralph is you know um, that that new Ralph. Ralph was my first cousin. We were together all our lives, pretty much. You know, for thirty years we were on the road. We traveled around the world and played music and had a great time. You know, and just yeah. I love him and I miss. Him. And that, that piece of footage was from the pre-telecast in uh, 2008, uh, the Grammy Awards, okay? And that, that was the year we won our first Grammy. So 2008, that's what, 12 years ago? Yeah. I got some work to do, man. I was trying to look like... Yeah, it's coming up on 13 now. Yeah, that was a... myself 12 years ago, and whoa, man. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you were looking sharp, man. You were moving around that stage real nice. I don't know if you still move like that. Actually, that is my next question. So now you had the full experience there, right? Now, yeah. is that kind of your thing, that large format? Or do you prefer that kind of intimate, um, small space where you connected with people? Do you prefer smaller or bigger? I like, I like them both equally because they all bring a certain energy. You know, yeah. um, the small rooms... You know, I, I love playing them because there's a there's a there's a certain energy that that can build in there that that could make you feel better than playing in front of a crowd of a hundred thousand people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we, which we actually did in in 2006 um, after Katrina, we played at the uh, Sydney Jazz Festival, and they had one of the biggest crowds ever in the history of the, uh, the Sydney Australia Jazz Festival. Um, over a hundred thousand people, man. Yeah. And you know, for me, I come from I come from these little dance halls, church dances, you know. And I wouldn't, you know, I, I never thought in my wildest dreams that we'd be on a show where a hundred thousand people was out in front of us, you know. And it, you know, it, it felt good, but but these intimate rooms felt just as good you know i mean it, it it's all different energy you know different yeah. energy from from different 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 vibes <laughs> you know one thing i'll say for zydeco is that you know some music doesn't translate into some of those big rooms i think sometimes people may not appreciate how far away some people are how deep back that goes and how non-intimate that could be sometimes but the one thing about not just you but the genre in general is just instant smile to your face. I don't know that you ever are not smiling, but <laughs> it's, just, 
it just comes to you. It's just that energy that translates you, that gets into your bones. And it, it, it it's great to be able to have something that can touch people that far away. I don't yeah. know if you get that vibe when, when, when you're out there playing, but. You know, thank you so much, Von. I mean, it's it's a it's a happy music. It's it's meant to make you forget your troubles and be happy. You know, and that we had to we had to you know down here in South Louisiana, we had to come strong with our music mm-hmm. because we mm-hmm. had to deal with some strong unhappiness from slavery to Jim Crow and 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 so many things that we've been over, able to uh, overcome. And a lot of it has to do with the power, the healing power of our music to bring us together and to make us, you know what I'm saying, realize that more people out there want to be your friend than they want to be your enemy. And just yeah. you know, it's 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 all about love, man. And that's that's some strong positive love in Zamico music. And you feel it, you if you never heard the music before, that's the reaction I see the past 40 years doing this on people's faces who never heard it before immediately they're smiling they're moving and and you know they 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 taking in the medicine <laughs> yeah and that's interesting you know it's so interesting how sometimes you know a music that comes from the most painful place can produce the happiest um emotions you know um that's that's awesome. Well, to that to that uh, note, now we'll go into time uh, for me to dance, and and because this is always a good time to dance, so we'll go yeah. into this one right here, um, another one uh, from Terrence Simi. Now this song is gonna be from our Grammy last second Grammy winning album, Dockside Sessions, and then that's the Grammy we got for that right there, showing y'all right there. You see that? that. <laughs> This song is called, one that we wrote called, Time for Me to Dance. C'est ton pour moi danser. Et là-bas. What makes Core Trust the best bank in South Dakota? Well, it starts with our Midwestern values. It's in our deep-rooted desire to help our neighbors and our communities. Here at Core Trust, we still value a handshake and a hard day's work. 
We're the bank you can trust to be good stewards of your hard-earned money and to help you reach your goals. At Core Trust, our values run deep. We're more than just a bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Yes, yeah, another shout out to Core Trust and Lloyd Companies. We appreciate you so much. And, and of course, our 2021 season presenting sponsor, Sanford Help. Now, so we, so we heard some music. Energy, all wonderful, all great. But um, like we were talking earlier, music is one thing, but food is another. Now that's a passion of mine, as people can probably clearly see. It's a common theme on this show. I talk about food quite a bit. Um, so, but you're not a one-trick pony, all right? You don't just do music. You are also the man in the kitchen. And I want to talk about this real quick. So I'm just going to show this video, and then we're going to come back and talk about this on the other side of it because this is what I'm really interested. <laughs> Yeah. Get me a little water, man. Yeah. Just a little glass of water. Just a little bit of water. We're gonna drop a little water while it's nice and uh, the onions got that nice little thing down there. You know that little thing? I don't know what they call that little thing, but boy, that's a good. That's good. That's the good stuff. Look at that. That little how you call? It smells good. That's huh? That's it. Now you got it. Doesn't matter what happen. you call it. Now we starting to make our broth. That's where it starts. It starts down from the from the crust of the pot all the way up to the top. And man, let me tell you, when that thing gonna be finished, D, mm -hmm. you're gonna see dog. It's gonna be it's gonna be good, man. Yeah. Good right. poetry, man. Huh? Oh, look, I'm all off the burner, boy. That fancy stove got me sliding, slipping in the sliding. All right. All right. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to start putting in our smoked meat. Because you want to start building that smoked meat. I'm going to start with them turkey. Turkey necks. Smoked turkey necks from Mesh's Supermarket in Appaloosas. Louisiana and St. Landry Parish are one of the oldest establishments. They have a recipe, a smoke recipe that's that's totally original. You can't find it nowhere but at Meshes and Opelousas and that where my turkey necks come from and not in my pot now and they're gonna be out of sight. Out of sight the oh I should have used that. Yeah man. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Let's see. This, I'm gonna I'm just do and what you do. Let me, let me do that right. Do what you okay. Do. Smoke sausages. You can use any kind of smoke sausage. Oh man, you got me going. <laughs> First thing, like if anybody's gonna explain something to me, I need them to be from Louisiana. Okay. <laughs> I can, uh, you know, we got the, the 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 onions with sweat and the chicken. I, I was into it, man. I was into it. But tell me a little bit about that. That you have this uh the show that you do the cooking on and all of that, and then tell me when I can get some. Well, you know, man, it's all part of a residency whenever we perform at a lot of times when we'll do uh, residencies at performing arts centers around the country. And um, part of we offer them a cooking demo, you know, and let, let me let you all in on something. Everybody in Louisiana, where I come from, know how to cook. So I'm not, I'm not <laughs> that rare. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you know, we specialize in gumbo, jambalaya, uh, sauce piquant, etouffee. Um, you name it, you, you, you kill it, we'll cook it. <laughs> but, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, man, it, it's all good. You know, you got you to gotta, you gotta just put the love into it, just like you do with the music and, and a little flavor and a little know-how from mama. Cause I learned how to cook from my mom. My mom taught yeah. me how to cook, you know, you know. And my dad too. My dad passed on some stuff too, but mainly, mainly my mom. That's all her. That's all her. Well, that's awesome. Um, I'm excited. We already got a deal that when you get up here, you're gonna be doing some cooking. We're gonna get a chance to eat that. Most people who are watching that are local, are familiar with our, our friends over at Swamp Daddy, and 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 uh, so we'll have to have a little, uh, a little cook off. <laughs> or we'll just bring it together and have fun. We don't, it doesn't have to be uh, uh, competitive. But one of the other things, you do, you're just an educator, right? So you, you, you do the music that you already do, obviously, at a really, really high level. You do the, um, uh, the, you know, the cooking situation when you're at these different residencies and everything. But then you also do this really cool thing that you do in terms of, number one, uh, mentoring a lot of artists in your area, but also this Creole for Kids 
situation. And um, we're going to play a little something real quick. And then I want to talk about this because this is something I think is amazing, enriching uh, young folks in your community. So let's let's just take a quick look at this. Et là-bas, bonjour mes amis, tu parais pour danser? Allons, les alicots sont pas allés. Tu m'as fait du coup de le soir, tu pars quand avec ça, cher. Allons, allons, allons. Et à toi, one, two, one, two, three, boom. Yeah, that Creole for kids. I want to. I want to hear about this. This one is is one that's really close to my heart. In fact, um, uh, our friend uh, Roseanne, um, who is one of the uh, great staff um, here at the Levitt team, we connected with the love and passion for educating um, young people in a lot of different ways, unique ways, and this is one of the best ways possible. It's interactive. They get a chance to participate. The music, obviously, for your soul, confidence, knowing your history. Tell me what got you into that and what's behind the Creole for Kids program. Well, you know, we started the program in uh, 2000, I think, when and we released a record uh, called Creole for Kids in the History of Zodico. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal was the yes. biggest inspiration for me doing that. And, um, you know, it's it's just... Being on the road and being away from Louisiana, you know, you 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 go into so many different places, and people have so many questions about the music, the culture, and you know, this is a way of teaching the world, you know, from the kids, you know, the 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 the, the, the next generation and the generation now, you know, and um, this is American history. This is. Louisiana history. This is African American history. And it's a history lesson that you can only get from our stage when you see the show. You have to see it live to really feel the vibe, you know? And it's 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 we 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 educate the kids on uh history, geography, language, you know, music, you know, and 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 just just you know uh it, it they they can get a lot out of it if they listen. And most of the time they listen. And uh, <laughs> until I start throwing the beads, of course. But uh, <laughs> we get the kids on stage on just about every song to feel the energy of being on stage with the rub board, playing the rub board in front of all your friends. And, you know, just 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 feeling that energy alone. Yeah. It, 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 you know, I've had, we, we've been doing this now for like, over 20 years I, I got kids who's now adults of course you know that seen the show and came to me and said so many things about how, what they got out of the show and i'm like wow, wow you know this is this 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 i i, I had no idea <laughs> you know but uh but we you know as as part of our mission you know we want to do you know all we can just like you know our 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 ancestors before us queen ida clifton chenier and 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 all the rest of them, John Delafosse, people who came before us and 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 who brought the music for, forward, you know, and made connections, made the connection with all the people, you know, that 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 all the all the different cultures that came together in Louisiana. You see, um, if you look at me, I mean, my my family has been in Louisiana since 1756. And I'm I'm Creole. I'm I'm one of the old. My family is one of the Simians is one of the oldest Creole families, you know, in Louisiana. And um, my ancestors are from all over the world, you know, French, African, Spanish, Native American, and German. We are jambalaya of DNA, man. And the and the and the music, you know what I'm saying, have all that. And these kids that's coming from all these different, you know, you know, cultures can relate because it's actually a world music you know it's a world yeah. music you know that 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 came together in louisiana in its its own way but at the same time you know it's 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 something we all we can all connect to yeah i love it i think uh it's so big and i and i appreciate you for being willing to do that especially for as long as you have done it and it's great to be able to see those folks grow and who knows what that unlocked for them and, 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 and made available to them. So really appreciate you doing that. You know, one of the other things that I, did, I didn't um, want to miss uh, that we talked a little bit about 
uh, which has become a theme for you know our show, is that we have a lot of artists that are represented by um, their spouse or loved one. And that has been your situation. Now, uh, upon hearing this from so many people, I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness, there's no way this could work. This is this is madness to be on the road and then to have that person represent you and do the work with you and all those other type of things. But what we've heard time and time again is that nothing else makes more sense than having somebody that really is out for you and want to uh, protect you and then giving you an opportunity to be together. And that's your situation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, all I can say about that is I'm the luckiest man in the world to be married to the most incredible woman in the world and manager. And manager. She's, she's my lady, my woman, my wife, my manager, and my booking agent. <laughs> she do it all, man. She do it all. But you know, it, 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 it we want, we want to see her. Tell her to stick her hand, head, head in there. Tell her to stick her head in there. We want to see her. Hey, come, come stick your head in. Oh, no. Come on, man. Come on. It's behind the scenes. She's, she's on the way. Yeah, there you go. That's my girl. Hey. Hard. Good to meet you. Good to meet so, you. Yeah, thank you about this dynamic. How does this work? Well, um, uh, I, for me, I'm I'm a, I'm a say it, then I let her say a little bit. I, I I mostly do all the talking, but uh, she can talk a lot better than me. I, okay? man, I managed to get <laughs> I, I managed to, to to say what I need to say, Bonnie. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, one of the things she'll do, you know, is when I start to like get on her nerves, man. You know, she'd send me on the road on the trip. You Look know, tour. get out of here. You know, beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good incentive. You know, when you make it, when you're making a living, making music, okay, you have to figure out how to live, have life around you while you're making a living, making music, and 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 not. I, I guess it couldn't work with everybody, you yeah. know. But um, my lovely wife here was, you know, gracious and kind enough to just, you know, go along with. <laughs> My crazy, Go along with the plan. my crazy plan, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's worked for us, you know, and it's worked for us in a way, you know, that that, I, you know, it, it was it was it, it it was destiny. It was meant to be, and it may not work for everybody, but you gotta try, it, you know, if you if you if you, uh, you know, if you if you making a living in music. Yeah, that's amazing because, well, you know, I think there's so much to be said for having someone that truly knows you and understands you and what you need and what you want. And that's probably what I wasn't considering at first. I was just thinking about being on the tour bus with my wife for X amount of hours. And, and I'm not talking about for me, I'm talking about from her perspective. I know she would want to kick me out on the road, but, um, but it's amazing to have somebody there to support you. So what is it like for you? Cause artists are, can be artisty sometimes. So, so artisty. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like with these being artisty? Um, yeah, you know, that was an adjustment because I'm I'm a pretty I'm kind of a pragmatic kind of gal, you know. Um I you know, I like to just slice through it and get down to business. And there's a lot of flowery artistry going around going on around here and, and my daughter too. So I'm not not one but two artists in the family. So, God, no. okay. yeah. so yeah, you know, they taught me a lot though, Bonnie. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for, for helping make these type of things happen. A lot of times people don't see the folks who are making these things happen. I mean, we have kind of a small get set up here, but, you know, there's a lot of back and forth that has to happen to make these type of things uh, go off. So thank you for all of the work that you do. We appreciate thank you. you. Absolutely. Teamwork make the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, I, uh, normally we go, well, we, we'll get into some pictures. That, that'll be what we do next. But there's also one of the things that I wanted to to mention because you do some some things with the African American Museum as well, correct? You know, and, and the whole thing is a lot of people around outside of Louisiana and Texas and and even 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 outside of you know uh, other places where you have people who have knowledge of Zodico music don't realize that it is an African American style of music, you know, and um she contacted the um uh, people who 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 were um, you know setting up the museum in Nashville, and it's the uh, National African American Music National Museum. Museum of African American I'm sorry, Music. National Museum of African American Music. And it's opening on Martin Luther King. And it's opening on January 18th, Martin Luther King Day, 
and um, it's um, it, it's going to have a, a, a zodical uh, exhibit Queen with Ida. Queen Ida, who's on who's who's on this right now. <laughs> Queen Ida's accordion is in it. Her honor. Her honor accordion is in it. Um, also, Reggie Durav, who was uh, the late Buckwheat zodical uh, son, his rub board is in it. And my hat that I wear, my Fulani hat, it's um, it, it, it's it, 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 they have one of my hat and one of my hats and and a Creole flag in yeah. the display. So uh, Zydeco music is going to be represented at the National Museum of Museum African, of African American Music. Fifty six thousand square feet. Fifty six thousand square feet. Sixty million dollar facility. Sixty million dollar facility. Go check Yo, it out. She, she just came on and said all of that in, in 30 seconds. I know. Look, I wasted all this time. You know, she could have just came in and <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she did the right thing, though. She made you have to go through it. Uh, but no, that's awesome. That is amazing. You know, because again, I think what's so great is being able to only not only do music which is truly transcendent, but be able to represent such a rich history um, that sometimes we don't get a chance to focus on. Um, and that's amazing that, that you're doing those things. Well, this is the segment where we look at a few pictures, some things out there. We just kind of want to get an idea of what was happening at this time, what was going on in your life or in the moment of these pictures, because, you know, a picture tells um, a thousand words. So we're going to go to a few pictures here and take a look at what we have here. All right. So what do we got here? This was in 2014 when we won our second Grammy in Regional Roots, Best Regional Roots Album of the Year. And this is my daughter, the female in the in the picture is my daughter, Marcella. Behind me is Stan Chambers. Um, um, over my shoulder is Keith Sonye. Um, to the left, to the, to the right of Keith is Jose Alvarez. And my main man right next to me, Mr. Danny Williams. We've been together 30 years. And we've written music and went all over the world together. And I, I couldn't do it without that man there. When he quit my band, if ever he quit my band, it's over with. Y'all never going to see me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, 30 years. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, see, this is, this is, um, there's nothing about this is appealing to me. Um, I'm not a snake guy, but tell me what was going on right here. A nervous breakdown. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we was uh we played this place in, in, in Connecticut. This is this is probably a picture from like 1986. Yeah. And we played this place in Connecticut called the Roaring Brook Nature Center. And they had all these snakes around, you know, in, in these glass cages. Yeah. And we, and when we started playing the music, you know, the snakes they kind of <laughs> dug it, you know. <laughs> And this one dug it so much, it kind of like made its way around my neck to, to thank me for the music. <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of thank you that is. Uh, I don't need uh, putting that type of snake around me. I'm, you know, I'm not a snake. I'm scared of everything. Um, all right. And then I think, uh, do we have one more? I think we have one more here. We're going to pull one up. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh. what do we got here? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see it now. That's me and the great Alan Toussaint. Oh, yeah. Me and the great Alan right. Toussaint, man. I mean, this is we 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 played on this awesome gig called the uh, the uh legendary rhythm and blues cruise. And Alan, this was probably taken. A week before he passed, uh, weeks. two weeks before he passed, and and man, this man was, was everything yeah. Yeah. to Louisiana music and musicians like me and 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 so many others. That's amazing. You you know uh, you lived a rich life, man. A lot of a lot of wonderful things. Um, we're excited for it. So we're going to land this plane and get into a couple things before we get out of here, and then we're going to give you a chance to to play us out. It's been an honor to to share this time with you and talk about all of these different things and learn. There's nothing I love more than, than music and learning. And so I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to do both. Thank you, Vani. I just want to give a shout out to all my friends who's listening, who's, 
who's at the show right now in Fredericksburg, Virginia, Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, North Oklahoma. Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Um, let's see, Colorado. No, oh man, we, we got people all over the planet that's tuned in, and I can't thank you guys enough. And I miss y'all so much. Can't wait to get back on the road where yeah. I be alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're gonna have you soon. We appreciate you. Hold tight. We're gonna go out with you. But uh, as always, we want to let you know that the Levitt Shell in Sioux Falls is part of a national network of outdoor Levitt music venues and concert sites has covered the anchors of community life, family, friends, and neighbors of all ages and backgrounds come together on Levitt lawns through the power of live free music. Leading the program's nationwide growth is the Mortimer and Mimi Levitt Foundation. You can learn more at Levitt.com. Or, you know, uh, before we um, have Terrence play us out, you know, over the course of us doing uh, these two seasons of Levin in Your Living Room, there have been so many opportunities, um, unfortunately, for me to sign off talking about all of the reasons why we need to come together. And we are consistently and constantly challenged with these things. But um, that is the nature of community. That is the nature of being free is that sometimes these things can be challenging and that's why when we have an opportunity to connect with artists and we can bring to you things that will uplift you things that will help heal your heart things that will help us continue to build community through music i hope everyone has an opportunity just to to get away for a moment and realize um how special of an opportunity that we have to do these type of things to be able to connect with each other and all of these brilliant amazing people who put their blood, sweat, and tears into providing an art that can give people another reason to come together. That is um, what artists like we've had on this show do. That is what the point of this show is. That is what the point of the Levitt is. That whole team, both national and uh, locally, it is to give you an opportunity. It is to give you a lawn. It is to give you a place where you don't have to be burdened by the barriers of finance or, or who you are. You get to come as you are for the purpose of of connecting and coming together and, and reminding ourselves of the reasons why going through the work of, of putting together a country is worth it. And so uh, we appreciate you all for doing this. Um, we're getting to the end of this season, so we want to savor every moment. But right now, and, I'm, and I know my French is a little bit uh, uh, rusty here, but we're going to go back to Terrence and he's going to take us out with Bonsoir Morrow. All right, this next song is from our new album, Ancestral Grooves. And this song I did as a duet with my daughter Marcella, who have a much better singing voice than me. I wish she was here today, but I'll just have to do it without her. You ready, D? Here we go. Mm -hmm. 